Here's T-Bone and Heather on Star 98.3 and 97.7 The Bay. And if that was all it was, my <laughs> God, you would be in for a treat. But wait, there's more. Here's Johnny. All right. Mr. Cherry on top. That's right. That's, <laughs> That's exactly what you right. Are. You are the cherry. Uh, well, here we are. It's Friday, and uh, you know that's uh, that's usually a. Uh Nice for folks going out on the town. Maybe you're going to see a little movie, something like that. Right. Mm. Um, I would love to know about Red One. Are you, well, let me ask you this first. What What do you think is the perfect date for Christmas movie season to start? The perfect date uh, uh, of the the, the day, Black Friday, that uh, Thanksgiving weekend. So you're a post Thanksgiving, I'm not a post Halloween. Uh, no, I'm not. Right. I, I think because otherwise, I think that uh, Thanksgiving is not getting its due. That's a, that's a pretty girl. She needs a dance. You and my son would get along well because yeah. he has gotten so mad every time we w- we go somewhere. He's like, "Where are the Thanksgiving decorations?" Oh, I, yeah. really? Like, I, he's like, he, he's good boy. He's taking it up on part of Thanksgiving. He is offended good boy. that Thanksgiving good. is forgotten. So, um, but yeah, the reason. So I. I am very post Thanksgiving as well, but in re- recent years I've been okay with pushing it back because I'm like, well, that Christmas season is too short if it's just after Black Friday. Right, mm-hmm. right. Um, so we've been letting them sprinkle in a little bit in in November now, and and Red One is which comes out this weekend is the start of the Hollywood um, movie Christmas. Or Do you think Hollywood it's too soon? Holiday season. Do you think it's too soon, or should no, it start after? No, I think it's after? perfect. I think it's perfect because let's be Thanksgiving movies. We have planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah, mm-hmm. we oh, have. Yeah. Um, you know, um, trading places starts in Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Um, but <laughs> what a great movie. It's, it's not. It is weird because it is, it is an amazing holiday for a movie for a family drama or family comedy. You know, twelve people around a table. Especially these days, you you put in any subject and right. hilarity ensues or violence. Probably <laughs> one of them. Right. One of them's going to. Um, but you know, it's there's just not the you. As amazing as Thanksgiving is, it, there's, it doesn't have that magical component. It just doesn't. I mean, no, it doesn't have the magic of Christmas. There's no question yeah. about that. So it's it's hard to put those two right next to each other, especially with something as fun as Halloween behind it, and not expect people to cross over a little bit further. But still okay. respect Thanksgiving. Okay. Um. So, I boy, that was a weird tangent. But um, <laughs> Red One stars Red uh, One. Dwayne the Rock Johnson and right. Chris Evans. Um. So you know Captain America. The Rock in the same movie. Um, gotta love wow! It. You got all you, you got all the ingredients for everything, and it, it just gets better because The Rock is the head of Santa's security, <laughs> ladies okay. and gentlemen. Santa has been kidnapped. Uh, oh, come on! No. He needs help. Chris Evans, the world's most notorious bounty hunter, is there to help him. Oh wow! So you got Chris Evans and The Rock globe trotting to find and rescue Santa Claus. And okay. let me tell you, I I usually don't give guarantees on movies, but. Providing you're going into this looking for fun and mm-hmm. looking mm-hmm. for a holiday festive movie, yeah. I guarantee you're going to have a good time. Okay, you're, you're, I good. guarantee enjoyment. All right, because I've heard different things. I've heard, you know, she for said Christmas. earlier that it was getting terrible reviews. Yeah. It, who gives reviews? I know you right, do. Yeah, exactly. You do. Well, I, I know. Yeah, That's why I said no, I'm no, going to no, wait for John what, to come in to hear what, from him. What I mean is is the people that give reviews, they'll tear it down on the stupidest reasons. I, I, I guarantee nobody going into this is going to say, this movie better have a good three-act structure. <laughs> There better be well-developed supporting characters and no plot holes. Right. Right. Okay, about right. the Santa huge elf and the bounty hunter. Gotcha. So, uh, you know, I, I really, I, I get it. And if we're talking Oscars, Academy Awards, let's talk to those technical things. But you can't tell, It's not Schindler's List. You can't tell me that a movie isn't, not even worth watching, but a great movie by being and, and still be technically not great, yeah. you know what I mean. Well, I hear you. Yeah, uh, that's the, that's the uh, that's the thing that everybody always talks about, and yeah. I think is is entirely accurate. Did you enjoy it? Did, was exactly. it worth your money? Would you watch it again if it's if it's checking those boxes? What do you want? It's a movie. Yeah. This like, Jingle All the Way is one of my favorite examples because I love that movie. Uh, it's one of my it's one of my Christmas staples, but it is a I mean Sinbad and Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> right. and Arnold Schwarzenegger is a suburban. I, right. I, there's one thing about Schwarzenegger I never understood how they just shoehorned his Austrian accent into these and weird everything, locations. Yeah. Everybody's he's okay like, with it. He's a like a like wherever it is, yeah. um, Colorado suburban dad who sells mm-hmm. mattresses. Yes, we'll get you those mattresses next week, no problem. <laughs> and we just buy it. But right, you know, that that's a perfect example of a movie that is cheesy. It is broken in a in a thematically. It has you know. No, un, what's totally undeveloped supporting characters, and it's still perfectly magical. And that's what Red One's going to be. Okay, that's, I mean, I can see this being 
on Christmas staple list down the road. I can see this being the the movie that's playing in um you know in the living room while mom's it's making pizza. turkey during Thanksgiving. Cool. You know? It's pizza. It's not fine dining. It's just yeah, delicious. It's, it's pizza, but it is it is chef's kiss pizza there you all go. right excellent okay. wonderful uh, what Good. else do we have coming out is or is that the biggie that's the biggie okay yeah, there's um there's an anime film coming out and this is something very interesting i've seen over the last because i do the box office every every sunday pretty much and and very interesting to see how the 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 film ecosystem has changed where yeah. it used to be your top 10 list every week number one the lowest um, rated film would be making three, four million dollars. Right. Okay. Now, for the first time in in since, well, let's talk about from the pan- pandemic afterwards. I'm seeing a K in the numbers instead of an M. So yeah, like yeah. eight hundred thousand dollars. Wow. To take for a weekend. Okay. But I'm all the more interesting thing is that I'm seeing three things show up a lot more, and that's event movies like Beyonce's concert, yeah. Taylor's yep. concert, right? Taylor, um, right, with the Eras tour. Yep. Uh, Faith-based movies, Angel Studios is one of them. Huge, yeah. They're, yeah. They're, you know, it's really showing that there is a market for those. And I'm glad there is because some of the most cinematic things ever thought of are in the Bible. Sure. And, you know, you put those on a f- film with talented people and you mm-hmm. have an amazing cinematic experience regardless of what your, you your believe, beliefs are. Right. Yeah. And the problem is usually they were, these movies look like they were put on by the youth pastor at 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 the the backwoods uh, right, church right 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 with right. no money no, no budget money, right. no acting ability nothing right so, and the congregation serving as yeah, the actors exactly so so those those are really coming up um let's see what else. oh bollywood films um, Man, they turn those things out, don't they? Oh, they do. And I'll tell you what, Netflix... I love it, the dancing and the music in them. I oh, love it. It's so much fun. And I love the fact that they don't care about logic in this movie. <laughs> no. no there is no logic. They are not drugged down by that. The, the, the hero calls the bad guy on the phone, <laughs> shoots his gun into the phone, and the bad guy on the other end gets, gets killed. <laughs> I swear to God. Um, so, I love it. And then the, the last is, of course, anime. Uh, that's showing up a lot more. So I think you're seeing these holes in the theatrical schedule, either whether it's because it's streaming or they're not spending as much. Right. But those holes are being filled. I, I thought it's kind of interesting to see in motion how theaters are adapting. It's and, a weird, yeah. it's a weird time that we're in because the, the, the upside to all of this is, you know, with, with, the, with the technology that's out there, the software that's out there, people can... Anybody can make a movie. Yeah, it's um, never been easier. Never been easier. And so the result of that is uh, movies that would not have been made in the past are getting made right. because you don't have to go through the gatekeeper that is Hollywood. And so you can just make the movie. Um, now, the other side of that is, are you flooding the, the market with, with a bunch of stuff that maybe nobody will ever watch? I don't know. I think I always think when it comes to creativity, more is good. I, I I definitely think so, but I think the only problem is it's not that there's more, it's that anybody can do it now. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we just open this talking about magic, we'll close it talking about magic, is there used to be a magic to Hollywood. Like, you, you couldn't go and get a camera, and if you did, it looked like crap. It looked like it looked ter- Of course, it looked and terrible, everything right. Everything was, you didn't have special effects or anything right, like that. Right, right. You, you, there's apps now where you can insert explosions and stuff that used to cost millions of dollars my right. daughter can make on on uh youtube shorts in five minutes something that i could never have dreamed of making right. when i was her age right. and it would cost and, you uh three hundred thousand dollars to do it yeah which you know quantity way up there and that is a good thing but the bad thing is especially with the younger generations when they watch these things on screen there's no magic to it yeah because they can i can do that at home Literally, right, I mean, I don't know. right, and, and I, I think that's going to be a bigger effect than anything else um, this weekend. So there are some big things in streaming tonight. I'm going to oh, be watching please, Tyson, well, Mike Tyson, knock him out. Yeah, please. Tyson and Jake Paul. I, I'm going to watch that. Cannot how wait. Can you not watch that? Pop some corn and get ready. Pop some Paul heads. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's put him down. <laughs> Listen, there's a new uh, the whole Alex Cross thing on Prime. That well, I saw the trailer for that, and I I love the Alex Cross series by James Patterson. Mm-hmm. It looks really good but well the guy very they got, very dark and ominous the guy and they it's got not playing everybody. alex cross is it's not tyler perry this time it's not tyler no perry. it's not tyler right. perry i mean he's you know, I, listen it's not that he gets tyler perry but i'm just he's, not he's buying not him a, as a tough guy he's right not a dark tough guy. yeah no. right and then uh landman with 
Billy Bob okay. Thornton is coming out this weekend. Oh, I believe that's like on a Sunday. Yellowstone type for but for in Texas and oil drilling. Yeah, right? it looks really really good, and I like Billy Bob Thornton because he's so Everybody weird. Everybody likes Billy he's Bob Thornton. He's so weird. He he really if if there is a niche for him, it is in that um, the country like you know uh, yeah. salt of the earth type. So. Yeah. So those saw, are some really big things coming out on streaming. Saw the best Billy Bob Thornton interview ever. Uh, really uh, like French fire titers. Yeah, he did. <laughs> uh, he it was right after that movie he was in years ago with um, Shea LaBeouf or whatever. Uh, it was called Golden Eye or Eye in the Sky, something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, I remember and, that. And yeah. the, the guy that was interviewing, it might have been Jay Leno. I don't know. It was years ago. They said, because, you know, he was Sling Blade and he's, you right. know. And uh, they're like, um, well, how did that role, why did you take that role? Mm-hmm. And he said, they gave me $200,000. I went to Vegas. I spent it all on hookers and booze. <laughs> yeah, right. I, and he right. goes, I'm not, and then everybody laughed. He goes, no, no, I'm not joking. Yeah. I spent $200,000 right. on hookers and booze. Yeah. But, and I, I love it. I mean, because that, it's. That's the way he, he, he that's the way he is. Yeah. Because it, it's the way he is. And there's way too many people that don't believe what they're pretentiously saying. Like, oh, I was, I was drawn to, when somebody, yeah. makes, when somebody makes up something about the art of it, and yeah. like, you know, the, the comparison to the modern day parallel of the, of the man and the internet <laughs> over our shoulder. Like, no, come on. You know, right, it was the money. You want the house, you want the... Yeah, right. they gave him $200,000. He shot it in like three days. Michael right. Caine said, so Michael Caine was in Jaws 3D, right? <laughs> Michael Caine, <laughs> sure. one of the biggest actors of the 60s and right. 70s, you know, right. an icon. Um, and... He tells the story quite a bit these days. Is he's like, well, people people say that uh, they didn't like Jaws three, and I said, well, I don't know, I haven't seen it, but I've seen the house that bought my mom. There you go. Yeah, you know? right. There you and, go. And it's the same with Samuel L. Jackson. Snakes on a plane. Come on, but well, he's, he's but he's racking. Life. He's just having fun, and yeah. he, and they're paying him to do it. Why not? You have, why would you? Why not go to the catering table on your break and you know have fun and shoot stuff right. up? And I mean, I I think he is just having a good my time. My favorite subset of human right now is the Snoop Dogg. Uh, um, um, oh my God! How am I forgetting his name? Bankman from the Ghostbusters. Bill. Oh, Bill, Bill, Murray. Bill Murray. I think I just had a stroke. Bill yeah. Murray. Yeah, Bill yeah. Murray. Right. right. Wow. Bill Murray, Snoop Dogg, uh, Samuel Jackson. It's like these people that have finished the game and they're mm-hmm. just doing side quests every day. Yeah. Right. You know, Snoop Dogg shows up at the Olympics. You got Bill Murray showing up <laughs> random pickleball tournaments. You know. know. Right. That's exactly. The life I want to live. That'd you be no Yeah. Yeah. That's let's pretty all, nice. Let's hope for all that. Right. Well. Uh, so what is it? What was the name of the, the, red, the one. red one? Red one. That's the one you want to go see this weekend. It's going to be fun. Go out to uh, whatever theater you like to go to and go see a movie this weekend. Watch the lights come down, get some popcorn, it's pretty nice.